A cartoon classic prepares for the big screen and a famous partnership comes to an end. I'm Ji Young Min and this is Fast Lane Daily. Go Speed Racer Go if you're a fan of the 1960s cartoon series or just wear the t-shirts, you want to check out the new Mach 5. It's the automotive star of the Wachowski Brothers Speed Racer. You may know the Wachowskis from a little movie called The Matrix. The big screen version of the TV classic stars Christina Ricci and actor Matthew Fox from Lost. But there's still no word on which one will be playing Chim Chim. Speed Racer the movie premieres next week in Germany. Planning a trip to one of those swank driving schools? You might want to get your deposit back. If it's driving lessons you want, you can get them from your laptop. Ford Motor Company offers videos of its safe driving classes for free. It's part of the company's Driving Skills for Life program. You won't get any hands-on experience. And if you're looking for tips on faster lap times, don't bother hitting the play button. But for the basics on driving safely and staying out of trouble, the DrivingSkillsForLife.com videos are a safe bet. But if you're looking for videos to get you into trouble, VODCars.com is a safe bet. Up next, what famous supercar duo is calling it quits? Find out after this. Got a story for Fast Lane Daily? Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastLaneDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. If you thought Mercedes and McLaren were as close as Elvis and his jumpsuits, think again. Automotive News Europe reports the duo known for the pricey SLR won't be working on Mercedes' next supercar. Mercedes is said to be teaming up with motorsports firm HWA. You may know HWA for its work on the Mercedes DTM race cars. Motor Authority says we can expect to see a prototype of the next Mercedes supercar at the Geneva Auto Show next year. But don't shed any tears for McLaren. With plenty of Formula One money rolling in, word is the company is building a successor to the legendary McLaren F1 supercar. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in next week when we take bets on whether a new McLaren F1 will beat a Bugatti Veyron. See ya.